हेलो एवरी वन आई एम विजय गाडवे एंड वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सो टिल नाउ वी हैव क्रिएटेड द अजुअर मशीन लर्निंग वर्क स्पेस एंड एक्सप्लोर द सेम नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल हैव द ओवर व्यू ऑफ द अजुअर मशीन लर्निंग स्टूडियो सो लेट एस गो टू अजुअर पोर्टल टू अंडरस्टैंड द सेम सो हियर आई एम ऑन द अजुअर पोर्टल सेलेक्ट द सर्विस अजुअर मशीन लर्निंग दिस इज द वर्क स्पेस वी हैव क्रिएटेड under the overview click here launch studio it will launch the azure machine learning studio loading the workspace and this is the azure machine learning studio we are under the home tab first we will explore the task bar recent and favorites nothing here then the notifications here also we don't have anything then the settings from here you can select the themes the default theme is light you can select the dark as well language and formats from here you can select the language and the regional format as well under the settings there is one more option email notifications you can manage the email notifications from here then the manage preview features here you will get a lot of preview features this is the first one deploy models using a shared pool of computes then this is the second preview feature deploy models as a service with pay as you go these two are enabled scroll down here we have multiple features monitor compute resources add linked services and so on most of the features are enabled here then the help from here you can view the tutorials launch guided tour run workspace diagnostics as well as you can create a new support request this is for the feedback these are the workspace details and this is about the profile so this is about the task bar we are under the home tab let us explore the model catalog from here you can suggest a model or you can import a model here you will get information about the announcements models 16 17 models and under the home tab we have generative ai with prompt flow let us view the same from here you can create a prompt flow create by type standard flow chat flow and evaluation flow as well as you can explore the gallery so this is about the generative ai prompt flow then the generative ai models notebook samples shortcuts and recently viewed option so this is all about the home tab we already explored the model catalog then we have authoring under the authoring we have notebooks automated machine learning designer and prompt flow let us explore the notebooks notebooks is your space to add browse and edit the files let us view the sample notebook under the samples sdk v2 sdk python let us explore data wrangling interactive data wrangling and this is the example notebook here we have to write the python code and with the help of that you can build and deploy the machine learning model so this is all about the notebooks let us move ahead automated machine learning with the help of automated machine learning you can train and find the best model based on your data and this is without writing a single line of code 
from here you can create the new automated machine learning job we will understand this in upcoming tutorials then designer this is the low code option and it uses the existing pre-built components and earlier dataset types show more samples let us see this example so this is the designer flow this is the canvas and on the canvas you have to add the multiple components this is the data set then select columns in the data set clean missing data these are the components split data so these are the three steps for the data pre-processing then this is the machine learning algorithm then this component train model to train the machine learning model then here we are getting the score score of the model and at the end we are evaluating the machine learning model so the designer is a low code experience and at the end we have prompt flow so these are the four authoring experiences in the azure machine learning studio notebooks automated machine learning designer and prompt flow after that we have assets first one is the data from here you can create the data assets data stores with the help of data stores you can securely connect to a storage service on azure by storing the connection information so the data store stores the connection information and data set monitors this is under preview with the help of data set monitors you can configure data set monitors to detect data drift between training data set and inference data so under the data we have these three options data assets data stores and data set monitors then the jobs here you can see all the experiments all jobs and all schedules then the components from here you can share and reuse your code with azure machine learning components the components are basic building blocks to perform a specific task then pipelines here we can see the pipeline jobs pipeline endpoints and draft pipelines then the environments under the environments we have two options curated environments and custom environments the curated environments are predefined environments that offer good starting points for building your own environments and from here you can customize the environment then the models from here you can create manage and track your register models as incremental versions under the same name from here you can register the model as well and endpoints the azure machine learning endpoints allows you to deploy machine learning models so here we have real time endpoints batch endpoints azure open ai and serverless endpoints so this is all about the assets then under the manage tab we have compute monitoring data labeling and linked services let us explore the compute first under the compute we have compute instances compute clusters kubernetes clusters and attached computes so these are the different types of computes offered by azure machine learning we will explore all the computes as we proceed in the course so don't worry about that then the monitoring from here we can track and understand the model performance during the production then the data labeling from here we can label both large and small data sets with ease and at the end we have linked services linked services is a collection of external services that you can connect with the workspace so this is all about the manage tab here we have compute monitoring data labeling and linked services now note down an important point here this is just an overview of the azure machine learning studio if you are not getting anything or you are little bit confused then don't worry you will understand all the things when we proceed in the course
So this video about the Azure Machine Learning Studio ends here. Thank you so much for watching and do not forget to subscribe my YouTube channel.